Hey there, I'm Jordan Pittman, and welcome to today's guide on submitting a public comment to the Texas Digital Opportunity Plan. In a world where connectivity is key, ensuring that every Texan has access is now more important than ever. Today, I'm going to walk you through the simple steps to make your voice heard in shaping the TDOP. So let's dive in. We will begin by going to Google and typing in the Texas Broadband Development Office, or BDO. And we'll click on this first link here. And when we're on the main page, we're going to scroll down to where it says what's new. And right here, it'll say the Texas Digital Opportunity Plan Public Comment. You'll click on this link, and it'll take you to this page that will offer you both access to look at the plan, the executive summary, as well as other information as well, including showing the plan right here to the right, which you can always check back to for reference. Filling out a public comment form is easy. On the left-hand side, you'll see that it will ask you just a couple questions. The first being, are you filling out this public comment form as a resident or organization? Do you identify or provide services to any of the following covered populations? select all that applies. Then you will add your first, last name, and email. Then towards the end, it will ask you which chapter would you like to provide a comment on. So you will choose which chapter you would like to provide the comment on, and you will provide your comment in this text box here. There is an accessibility option to voice the text as well. And once that is completed, you can also provide any additional documents to support your claim by clicking this Choose File section here. Once you're completed with submitting your public claim, you will click right here to submit. Or if you like to comment on another section, this black text box right here will allow you to click on another chapter to provide more public comment. And you can click on this for as many chapters as you would like to comment on. Once you're completed, again, you'll just click to click to submit. And that'll be it. You have completed and submitted a public comment. Just as a reminder, the public comment period ends on January 5th. 